So in this video, we are going to learn about uh, some of the very important string functions. Uh, strings in PHP is a data type uh, which is used to hold a group of characters. Okay, so unlike C or C++, uh, in PHP you got you get a lot of built-in functions that you can use directly in your programs, uh, so that you don't have to write the entire code for basic functionalities. Okay, so uh, since there are a lot of string functions, it's not possible to cover each of them in one video. Instead, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, learn about some of the most important string functions. So let's start. So we are back on Sublime Text. Let's create a new file and save it as string demo dot php. Let's take a sample string variable and let's store I love my country. So suppose this is the example string. Now let's go one by one to each of the string functions and we'll see how they work. So the first one is string word count function function. So uh, this particular function does what? It gives uh, <coughs> the number of words in a string. Okay. So suppose num words is a variable in which we are going to store the outcome of the function. So we are going to write it like this string word count and inside that curly braces uh, you have to provide the strings name which is sample string. It will return the number of words uh, which is currently 4 to this variable. And now what we are doing is we are printing out echo dollar num words like this. Let's save it. Let's go back to Chrome. Go to the function uh, page. Press enter. And as, as you can see, it gives out four. Uh, you can also add one more word like this. India. Save. Reload. And now it says five. So you can see how. A basic string word count function works. Now uh, let's go to the second function that is string shuffle. <clears throat> so what it does is uh, let's create a variable shuffled string is equal to str shuffle and over here you have to just provide the string that you want to shuffle uh, sample string and let's print out dollar shuffled string okay let's save it and as you can uh, expect it basically shuffles the characters so every time you reload you'll get something new okay so uh, this is pretty useful if you want to generate uh, random file names to the uploaded files or you want to provide a uh, I don't know maybe uh, you want to generate passwords and all in that case you can just use string shuffle function okay next is uh, string length so suppose now you are creating this uh, website where the password for login for registration should be at least six characters and below that you wouldn't allow the user to register on the website so how would you develop this sort of functionality you can do that using string length function so suppose now I want to print the number of characters in a string so I'll just print out uh, let's create a variable length is equal to str len and you have to just provide the string which is sample string and just echo out dollar length Let's save it. Let's reload. And it says there are 23 characters present. So you can easily check if dollar length is less than six. You just uh, print out an error message and you'll say uh, you have to insert or you have to provide a password which is greater than six characters. Okay. So this is string length. Let's move on to the next one, which is string reverse. So basically what you want is you want to reverse the string. 
you do it like this you write reversed is equal to uh, the name of the function is str rev string reverse and just provide the sample string and just echo out dollar reserved like this save reload and as you can see the string has been reversed pretty simple let's move on to the next one that is string upper or lower so what happens is suppose if you are creating a login or registration form uh, different people use different sort of uh, nomenclature while entering their name a few people will use all capitals a few will use all lowers someone will uh, capital the first alphabet and the remaining will be in lowers so uh, the input is you know quite different but uh, as a developer, uh, you just want one thing that uh, the database should be uniform. It has to have uh, same sort of, you know, uh, character strings stored in it. So what you do is you just uh, pick the name entered by the user and you either uh, turn it to upper or lower or mixed depending on your application. So suppose, uh, as you can see over here, the first one is capital and then all of these are small and then again this one is capital but what i want is uh, i want all of them to be in upper so what i'll do is i'll write str string to upper and i'll just provide sample string and i'll just echo out dollar upper so what it will do is it will convert all the small letters to <coughs> capital letters like this okay and you can also use lower save reload and you can see all of them is converted to lower okay now uh, one of the most important ones are uh, string position so suppose now what you want is you want to find out the position of a particular character in a string suppose you want to find out at the rate the position of at the rate in a given email id okay so suppose the sample string is support at the rate learn stack dot n and i want to find out what is the position of this at the rate so what I'll do is I'll write I'll create <clears throat> a new variable called position and I'll write str pos and over here you see uh, two variables two names are provided uh, the first one is haystack which basically means you have to provide over here the name of your string and the needle is basically the thing that you want to find out which is at the rate so now if I'll echo out dollar position and if i'll save it and i'll reload it says seven okay so one two three four five six seven and it starts from zero okay so this is string position now let's move on to string replace so suppose i want to replace this support with info so it should be now info at the rate learn stack dot mode so what i'll do is i'll use <coughs> dollar new string uh, as the new variable and i'll write string um, replace str underscore replace i have to search for support and i have to replace it with info and I have to do all of this in dollar sample string okay and now I'll echo out dollar new string okay let's save it and reload and now as you can see we have changed the email id to info at the rate learn stack dot okay one last one that we are going to discuss is very very important it's substring 
so suppose I just want to uh, extract this support word out of this email this is what I want okay so how will I do this I'll use first of all I'll create a new variable dollar string normal new string and we'll use a function called substring you have to provide the string which is dollar sample string and you have to provide the start value which will be from 0 and you have to provide the end value which in this case would be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we'll put it put a 6 and then we'll echo out dollar new string let's save it let's reload okay uh, so this last one is not included so you have to just plus one and make it seven so save it and reload and now you get support you can also change this to something else say you want to print out zero one two three this one port so now what we'll do is you'll start with three and you'll end at seven okay let's save it reload okay uh, I'm really sorry so what it has done is you start from here now this becomes the zeroth point so now if you want to print out port what you have to do is you have to write four zero one two three okay save and reload and now you get port okay so these are some of the basic and most used string functions in PHP